Hey, welcome to Worship Tutorials. We got a new uh, preset patch, profile pack available for you. This is a tone match patch based on the third power Majestic 40. If you have not heard or are not familiar of the Majestic 40, uh, you're not alone. We feel like it kind of flies under the radar. It's actually uh, the Stoogy signature amp from Third Power. And Third Power built it to be sort of a modern uh, take or version or clone of his vintage uh, 70s Park amplifier. If you're not familiar, Park is the maiden name of Jim Marshall's wife. So Marshall amplifiers are Marshall because of Jim Marshall. Park amplifiers are named Park because uh, it's, you know, all in the family there. And he started building the Park amplifiers because of some sort of distribution disagreement he had with Marshall and he couldn't build the Marshalls he wanted to build. Anyway, Parks are like Marshalls. That's what we're going for. This is more of a Marshall thing uh, from us. Now we have tone matched it to the Park amp model in the Helix. Now the Park amp model, the P75, that's in the Helix is the very same uh, amp that Stu has. So um, this one we feel like got real, like it's a really good sort of match. So uh, it sounds a lot like uh, the third power Majestic 40 already, but then when we did our tone match magic thing to it, it does sound exactly like the amp. It's pretty awesome. Bradford, we were talking, Bradford's back here. We were talking, it feels like, kind of like a Marshall, but it's a little tighter, a little more refined. Yeah. Right? That's kind of the vibe yeah, that we it got from it. Gives you some chime too. Yeah. And Stu will say when you when 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 he talks about that park amplifier he has, he will say that it is chimey. Uh almost not not like a Vox AC30, but it has sort of uh that kind of a thing going on. So I feel this works really well. The other thing that we were we were actually chatting with Stu when we were messing with this amp, we were curious because of the way we were setting it up, so we did a little FaceTime call with Stu. And, uh, Hong Kong. <laughs> yes. And, uh, you know, he was telling us about the amp and he's like, it really is meant to be like a pedal platform amp. We feel it works really well for the style of music that we play, the praise and worship thing. Uh, and it's just a little different flavor. It's not Vox. It's not Fender. It's a little leans more toward, uh, the Marshall thing. So you're going to hear a lot more playing samples of it throughout this video. Bradford's going to walk through some gain stages and the effects that we have. Hit the links below so you can, uh, grab it for Line 6, uh, Helix, HX Stomp. Podgo, uh, Fractal, Axe FX3, FM3, FM9, and Kemper. Available for that as well. One day for the Quad Cortex too. We'll see when that marketplace gets up and running. It's coming. All right, check out some more playing samples. You've heard some clips of the amp. I'm gonna talk a little bit about what you get in the patch. You get our kind of our normal smattering of snapshots. You get clean, drive one, drive two, PNW lead, Ambi clean, chorus clean, clean trim, and swells. That's pretty common for us. Uh, the nature of these patches, the goodness, is while the snapshots are helpful and they sound great and make things easier, it's the amp. That's what you're getting. That's what you want. So here is just the bass tone. We're using this Jennings Voyager with these cremas. I'm using the humbucker settings. Uh, you can use the single coil settings as well. Brian tends to favor that. The single coil settings fatten these up a little bit more. Humbucker settings give you a little bit more of that chime that these are known for. But i uh, been getting a lot more of this question lately. Just use your ears and pick which one you like. There's no right or wrong. You're not going to blow anything up. You're not going to break anything. Uh, if you got a guitar and you're not sure, just plug it in, try both, and see what you like. Get run it through the gamut of like sounds you typically use, and um, try out different licks that you would play, leads you would play, and base it on what pickup you tend to hang out on too. If you're not really sure and you hang out on the bridge mostly, uh, you may like the humbucker more, so it cuts a little bit more. So, anyways, just some thought. So here is our clean tone on the neck, and then the bridge. So a little dirt and uh, we're digging in too. So here's a little light. With our verb. So we have King of Tone yellow and red. Uh, those are based off of, they've morphed over the years, but basically kind of how we set up in a video a long time ago when the King of Tone first made its way into the Helix. Those are loosely based on my settings. The yellow really fattens things up if you want to keep things cleaner-ish. But still have some drive on the bridge pickup. 
And then here's the red side. Then we have a Klon as well, nice and juicy. Not quite giving you that honk you'd expect from a Tube Screamer, but there's still some mids in it, so it does make things a little chewier. Those are your drive stages. When we use the various levels, clean drive, drive plus, PNW lead, you're gonna get different versions of that. If you wanna adjust things, this is also a common question we get. If you got a guitar that the pickups are maybe higher output and you realize some of the snaps are jumping, the level of volume is jumping more, you can use the output block per snap and adjust it that way if you want. Um, that way seems to be safer because some people don't wanna adjust the settings too much and kind of affect how the drives hit the amp, but you're not gonna drastically change anything if you find that the drives being used in the snap are what's pushing the level too much. Just go uh, hit the snap, then go back to stomp mode, look and see what drives are on and uh, maybe turn one off at a time and figure out which one's causing more of a bump for you and just bring the volume back a little bit on that one. That's no big deal. Um, you're altering the patch just a little bit, but we don't make these patches because we think they're like the gospel truth sounds you need. We make them to be helpful, get you a great starting point and you can adjust from there, but don't be afraid to do that. Anyways, that is the 3P Majesty. This is available for all the current Line 6 and Fractal products that we support, as well as Profile for the Kemper. You're gonna get a pretty similar sound. Um, there are SoundCloud samples on the website for the product. Uh, there's not a video for it for your specific modeler, but thanks for checking everything out. Links below in the description. Make sure you subscribed and rang that bell, liked it. Let us know what you think in the comments below. It's not like, when I think Marshall, or when I think Park, it's uh, it's not like that saturated, heavy, heavy, heavy sound. It's got some real nice driven characteristics to it. It's not clean either. It's a nice little midway point. Gives you a little bit of both. But let us know what you think. We'll see you next time.